December 22, 1947, Krakow, Poland. The former staff of Auschwitz, the deadliest German Nazi concentration camp, hears their sentences read. After a month of gruesome testimonies, 23 defendants out of the 41 are sentenced to death by hanging. One of them is Erich Musfeldt, one of the most sadistic Nazi criminals. Erich Musfeldt was born on February 18, 1913, and he was a baker by profession. He joined the SA in 1933, and in 1939 he joined the Nazi party. On January 15, 1940, he joined the SS, and in July 1940 he came into Auschwitz concentration camp, where he worked as the head of the prisoner commandos and block leader. In November 1941, he was transferred to Majdanek concentration camp, where he served as the head of a crematorium and a commando unit that burned the bodies of murdered prisoners. Musfeldt was extremely cruel and enjoyed mistreating the prisoners. On a few occasions, he was seen drowning inmates in cesspools in Majdanek. Eric Musfeldt was one of those responsible for carrying out an action codenamed Operation Harvest Festival. In late October 1943, Jewish laborers at the camp were asked to dig trenches, allegedly for air defense. However, the inmates did not know that they were digging their own mass graves. Approximately 43,000 Jews were murdered at the Majdanek, Ponyatova, and Travniki concentration camps between the 3rd and 4th of November 1943. The Jewish prisoners were ordered to strip naked and walk into the previously dug trenches, and, once there, they were subsequently shot. Loud music was played to cover the sound of gunfire. Operation Harvest Festival was carried out after several attempted uprisings by Jewish prisoners, under the direct orders of Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS. It became the largest single massacre of Jews carried out by German forces during the Holocaust. In May 1944, Musfeldt returned to Auschwitz, where he supervised the crematoria in Birkenau during the liquidation of hundreds of thousands of Hungarian Jews. In the crematorium, his commandos were seen beating some women to death with rods. One of his specialties was hitting the back of the prisoners with his whip. Musfeldt was reported to have a smile on his face when those who did not obey his orders were pushed, sometimes alive, into the fiery furnace. On one occasion, Musfeldt became furious about a group of Jewish boys from the Warsaw Ghetto. After they were separated from their parents, the poor children were summoned for a roll call but a commotion broke out among them and the children dispersed. After they were found, these boys were sent to the gas chambers where they were killed. Miklos Nisli, a Hungarian Jewish prisoner and doctor at Auschwitz, said that once, after Erich Musfeldt shot 80 prisoners in the back of the head, Musfeldt came to him for a checkup and had high blood pressure. When Nisli asked him if it was because he had shot 80 prisoners, Musfeldt angrily replied that it made no difference to him if he killed one or eighty inmates, and added that if his blood pressure was high, it was because he drank too much. On another occasion, a fifteen-year-old girl survived the gas chamber, which was extremely rare. Nisli asked Musfeldt to spare her. The request was denied, and to ensure that the girl died, she was shot in the back of her neck. In August 1944, Musfeldt was sent to the front lines, where among other things he took part in the battle for Hungary, but after being injured he was sent to the Flossenburg concentration camp in early April 1945. The camp was evacuated soon after, and during the death march he was seen shooting dozens of prisoners who were too weak or too sick to walk. For all these atrocities, the Third Reich awarded Erich Musfeldt with the War Merit Cross, second class. After the end of the war, Erich Musfeldt had to finally face justice and pay for his crimes. He was captured by the Allies, and the U.S. military court sentenced Musfeldt to life imprisonment on January 22, 1947. However, soon after he was extradited to Poland, where he was retried at the Auschwitz trial, which began on November 24, 1947, and lasted one month. During the war, Musfeldt told one Polish political prisoner, If you Poles weren't such fools like you are, we wouldn't have to burn you in crematoria. Musfeldt couldn't be more wrong. In the end, it was the Polish Supreme National Tribunal in Krakow that found Musfeldt guilty of crimes against humanity and sentenced him to death by hanging. He was 34 years old when he was executed on the 24th of January, 1948. His body was subsequently made available to medical students at the University of Krakow as illustrative material. 
There were no tears shed for Eric Mosfeldt. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like, and see you in the following episode.